This is Griffin Avid from the Dynamic Universe presenting 2D Planets Volume 1. It's a set of images that are based on the theme planets that you can just drag and drop into your artwork to finish off some of your projects. Let's take a look at what you'd get in the zip file when you unpack this Daz Store item. You'll get multi-shot planets, planet plates, surfaces, space motion plates, spectrum planets, and also a bonus set of ship renders. So let's take a look at each one. If we take a look at the multi-shot planets, you'd be getting a set of planets that have multiple layers uh, collected together to form a variety of images. So let's take a look at it in Photoshop or any other program that supports layers. And what we have is the planet shot here and another one on top which is a different phase or rotation of the planet. Good if you have a comic book and you want to show the characters returning to the same planet or the planet is featured often for your establishing shot and you want some variety in the image of the planet and don't want to just keep grabbing the same canned appearance of the planet. That would be a good option to pull that up. Another is the planet plates. Planet plates are images that can serve great as just backdrops and wallpapers. So it comes in at high resolution, 300 DPI, and this is worthy of being your desktop or just being dragged and dropped to just form the background of your artwork. Put a spaceship on top of this. This would be great with a title in front. I could see this being something for the logo or a title and opening shot. This would be great with a ship in front. So yeah, this has a lot of a lot of different uh, variety and ways you can use these. You know, put an astronaut out here. So you get a huge amount of just great looking space shots. A huge amount of those. Tons of those is what you guess. Take a look at this one. This is a nice one too. This was a nice series. Very cool. A lot of space shots. The planet plate surfaces is the near, or should I say low orbit. Um, a lot of times when I first joined DAS, I was having a hard time getting that near surface of the planet, like the satellite is just above. So you could do the approach as you approach the planet, maybe that's your establishing shot, and then you pop into the low orbit scene where you're looking down at the planet, or you want to show something happening on the surface. So you get the planet and then a lot of near shots, and they can be chopped and used different ways. Um... Yeah, they have a lot of different uses. You can let your imagination run wild over those. The space motion plates, these are one of my favorites. I love this. These are colorful backdrops. Again, the idea was that space was in motion. This was the ship traveling from one point to another, sometimes one corner, but it definitely had a directional feel. I didn't want to blur the background like they're traveling at warp speed. That would be a different kind of effect. But this was just like space in motion. And I kind of felt it was a little bit more realistic than one of those uh, huge nebulae shots where you could see the entire galaxy in the shot. This was more of a closer, a closer looking reference. Spectrum planets are planets. These were by theme. So blue planets would be a large selection of blue planets. Um, green planets, planet surfaces. Uh, let's take a look at this other planet surfaces. And these are a selection of uh, color-themed planet surfaces. So we get the orange planet surface, a greenish planet surface. This would be just above the orbit. There is a blue. So these are cool. Help with special effects shots. Get you right above the planet. That was good. So let's talk about a little bit more on how to use these. And we'll jump right from Daz into it. So I have in Daz a spaceship that I'm going to use for the basis of my artwork and I want to get the spaceship doing something cool. So the first thing we did was we turned the dome off. My rendering is set to dome in scene so I get the lighting from the HDRI background, but I'm not actually, I'm not actually going to render it. So I'm going to get the spaceship isolated and just have the lighting from the scene, but not the actual uh, background dome being rendered. And that's me turning the dome off. I also turn off the ground so that my camera doesn't slide below the horizon and all of a sudden I can't get a render going because I've buried myself, or should I say buried the camera. And one of the cool tricks that I did is I took a bunch of glowing sphere emissives and buried them in the back of my ship. So what I have is in the back these little glowing orbs that emit light and just give that, that 
the ship a little bit more realistic look as if thrusters are on and my ship is pushing through space. Let's take a look at the iRay preview mode and we'll take a look at what this actually does once we get it going. So the, the dome is off because we don't need the background. We're going to take just that lighting and I've added my own set. So in iRay mode, you can see that I've got the lights turned on on the ship and it gives a realistic glow to the rest of the body of the ship. And that's like a little trick that I did just to have some fun with my ship. And um, what other settings do you need to know about? Um, in general, the headlamp is off. That would be like attaching a flashlight to the top of your camera. We turn that off because we don't like the look of that. That's one of the things that uh, some people complain about in the beginning when you're first starting. But that would be it. And I would get my ship to the angle that I want. If you do want to see what the dome looks like, I turn it on and I grabbed a, I believe this is a sunset HDRI where the sun is low. And I have this as the background. It's evening. You can see the stars. And I have the ship just uh, isolated by itself. There's nothing else really in the scene but the lighting. And I found an angle that I liked. I liked where the lighting was shining on my ship. And then I don't need this background. So I turn the dome off and I get a render that is just my ship. Let's uh, take a look at maybe some of the promo art because I know there was one of them that that started off the technique of what we were going for. So let's take a look at that. Let's find the promo art. Which one should we look at? Let's look at the uh, spaceship in space and we'll just match it. This one also uses that effect. So let's turn off our background. This was one of those surface plates that we picked up on. So we had our surface plate. We added a base to the planet so I could darken it instead of tinting and playing with the color. I put my ship in front, a little bit of a nebulae gas in the background. We added some particles, a light source. Uh, that's a theme for this one with the spaceships. We put a little quasar in the background. We add some rocket haze, engine glows, and we basically have our promo art. And that was how that one was created. Let's look at the other one ship heading away. That was the ship that you saw me preview in Daz. We'll turn everything off. We had our motion plate in the background to form my backdrop. We threw one planet with a little bit of opacity to make it blend into the background so it doesn't sit on top. Then I let my main planet sit on top. We added one of those uh, quasar elements. I brought my ship in straight as a Daz render, dragged and dropped it. Gave ourselves a little bit of space dust haze. Added some flares coming off of the rocket engines. Particles, maybe plasma heading out the back. And then we threw a couple of stars, 2D stars from one of my other projects. This could also could be done with any sort of uh, Photoshop brushes. There are plenty of sets available. Ron Deviney has a Galaxy set. I believe it's called Galaxy. But it has tons of... Um, star patterns and galaxies that's a very pretty much a staple project uh product if you're going to be using a lot of space projects you sort of want to have some of those tools available and that's how we did this promo art so the package is 2d planets volume one there is a 3d planets coming out not the same planets but it is 3d and we also have some side tech overlays, which is a combo product of me and Ron Devine. So keep your eyes out for those products coming. Don't forget, we have the Digital Art Live webinar series where we discuss and talk about CGI, storytelling, sequential art. And I am Griffin Avid. This is 2D Planets Volume 1, heading to the Daz store. Thank you very much. Happy rendering.